So today is a pretty exciting day because I usually take one day out of the week and take a look at the current gear that I have and try to combine the gear and make some other piece of new gear using that combined gear. So I want to create a DIY motorized crane or jib arm using my gimbal, monopod, and a tripod. But how are we gonna do this? Well, I'm gonna show you just that. So to start off, I need to find a way to attach the monopod to my tripod. I'm gonna use two mini C-stand clamps and I'm gonna attach it to both ends of this quick release plate that goes on my tripod. And why do you ask? Well, because I wanna make sure that there is enough clamps on the monopod that's gonna allow me to use this thing without it breaking. Quick tip on these little C-stand clamps, make sure you're using the 3 8 inch port. All right, first one's down, let's attach the next one. So here's what my setup is looking like so far. Notice how my clamps are in line with each other. That's gonna be important when we're mounting the monopod. All right, make sure they're good and tight. And let's save this for a little bit later down the road. So here's the monopod that I'm gonna be using. This is an aluminum monopod from Juintech. And no, this video is not sponsored by them. I just decided to pick this tripod up because it was laying around and I never use it. And it's aluminum. I'd rather use aluminum than carbon fiber because if carbon fiber is under a lot of stress, it will crack and break. Aluminum will bend. So it's a little bit more reliable when loading it up with much heavier weight and you know playing around with counterbalancing and basically using your monopod as a seesaw. So I'm going with an aluminum one here. There's way better monopods than this on the market, but if you need a cheap and easy one, I guess the Juintech one is all right for this kind of purpose, but it is not high enough. That's one thing I don't like. Like about this monopod but anyway besides the point let's attach our gimbal to the top here i'm going to be using the weeble s and not only because it is one of my favorite gimbals but because it has a lower center of gravity usually gimbals are pretty tall and that makes it a lot less stable when you're attaching it to a monopod or a jib arm so i like the fact that it's a lot shorter and closer to the monopod head so honestly this gimbal easily attaches to any monopod just because it has that quarter 20 inch port at the bottom of the gimbal. See it right there? That's it right there. All you gotta do is just screw it on. That's it. Now this part's really important. You gotta be using a strong tripod. The tripod has to be the highest quality tripod you have because it's gonna take a lot of weight. So make sure you have one that actually has these expandable legs, not length, but also width, so that way it can cover and support more ground. So I'm using the Benro tripod. I'm gonna link it down below in the description box, so check it out, along with all the other gear that I'm using in this video. Next, we're gonna take our monopod and mount it on the tripod. Simply place it on the clamps, tighten them up nice and tight, and then we have to attach our counterweight, which will balance out most of the front heaviness of this jib setup. Now that we have our counterbalance attached, let's attach the camera. So it's also important to note that your gimbal might not be used to this type of configuration on a monopod and a tripod, so you might have to hand adjust it so it doesn't trip out on you. Also make sure that when you're not using this jib or crane combination of gear, then rest it down on a chair. That way you don't have to constantly take off your gimbal and put it back on. And this will also reduce stress from the tripod and the monopod. So I'm just using the back of a chair here to help rest this jib arm while I'm not using it. So a few tips while using this type of crane or jib arm, make sure you're always using two hands. If you can, try to work towards the front of the crane or jib arm, that way it doesn't stress out the monopod or tripod as much. And also, if you want to use a longer monopod for higher reach, that's always a good idea. Just make sure you're constantly supporting it when you can. And also don't forget to use a fluid head tripod because that's what's gonna get you those smooth pans and those smooth tilts. Any minor vibrations, the gimbal will have covered and it'll actually add to the smoothness and the tilts when needed. And also depending on the gimbal that you're using, you can actually use a remote control or use the app and control the tilts and pans manually whenever you want. This will add a lot more versatility to your setup. Here's some test shots.
Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribe with those notifications turned on. Peace.